A great way to learn about uh, what to do with GIS is from the Education Community blog. And I've got an entry that is called up here uh, from some time back that is looking at the uh, Youth Community Atlas Project, which is a project that has been running for a while, a uh, number of years, and is set up this year to take advantage of the ArcGIS online capacity. And you can read all about it at esri.com slash community atlas and you can go in and explore the projects and learn about the activities but basically uh, this is uh, working with the ArcGIS Explorer online environment that requires the Silverlight the Microsoft Silverlight plugin in your browser works on both Windows and Macintosh and the steps in the blog walk you through how to explore what's available so we'll just jump in and go to the group on ArcGIS Online that the blog points you to and you get to see some examples that are posted in this group. We're going to jump to one example about uh, Washington DC and I've got that up and running here in the ArcGIS, Online, ArcGIS Explorer Online environment. So this is a place where you get to create maps and put together a presentation. I've got a live interactive mapping site back behind here and I've put together a set of frames to create this presentation and this you'll notice that there are a series of different backgrounds. The backgrounds are accomplished by going into the different base maps and choosing one of the different backgrounds and setting up your map uh, in the way that you like. So each of these different frames has been constructed with its own set of information. Uh, some points that have been dropped on the map that have been linked to some text. This is just dummy text and uh, attached to a photo that is online and We've put together here a, uh, a, a set of different frames with different maps from the different base maps, some text, and links to online websites where you can learn more about them. So this is what we're asking communities to do, is to put together a profile about their community. And students are doing this from a young age on up. Uh, anybody can do this. Once you're done, you get to see the presentation by going in and saying let's start the presentation from the beginning and the viewer gets to watch the presentation and they get to move their way through the presentation is a live interactive one so that they can decide aha I want to zoom around I want to explore and they can click on individual elements and see what they are and work their way through. They can zoom in and out and then when they're ready move their way into the next frame. So students can put together, classes can put together a profile of their community and the viewers can watch and see what this is about. So here you're looking at a profile of the DC environment and we've got uh, short little hundred word descriptions that are again just dummy text to give somebody a sense of what does a hundred words in this look like. The Community Atlas Project asks people to put together a series of 10 to 20 map frames with a thousand to 2500 words, original words, and uh, an idea of just a sort of a general profile about the community or uh, a conservation issue or a historic project. This might be uh, considered a sort of a historic project but you can see the different kinds of map backgrounds that are possible and get an idea of what it is that classes can do as they're uh, creating uh, explorations about any particular topic. It can be a science class working on 
their conservation project in, in the neighborhood. It can be uh, uh, a social studies class looking at uh, a historic project, or it can be a, an English class looking at, uh, let's describe the community in the way that uh, people have gone through and seen, people who have gone through the community and seen it evolve uh, might describe it. So that's the Community Atlas Project. 